Shagun Doku. Honorable or Deputy Me is invited to move the motion. Let's uh, ask Mr. Uh, even fortunately, the Senate also moved the same motion last week after we stepped our own down. Mr. Speaker, Mintu has said the African Continental Free Trade Agreement signed by President Muhammadu Buhari, the House note that the President Muhammadu Buhari at the extraordinary session of the Assembly of African Union heads of the states and government in Naimi. Niger, Niger Republic on Sunday, 7 July 2019, signed a part to establish an African coordinator free trade agreement on behalf of the government of the people of Nigeria. Also note that the president, while signing the agreement, stated that the Nigerian government will seek to include terms and we engender the development of policies that will promote African production among other policies. Why restricting that what Africa needs goes beyond trade policy, but includes a manufacturing agenda, as well as attracting investment and combating smuggling. Believe that, the, that President Buhari deserves commendation for signing the trade agreement with a severe caution on the need to prevent excessive prosperity for importing nations along the coast while landlocked nations will continue to suffer. The House further note that Nigeria as the largest economy in Africa should, in line with the agreement, define a various way to optimize benefits accruable from the part by ensuring that it is export to other African markets sur surpass it is import in order for it to have positive effect on the gross domestic product, balance of the trade payment, and employment generation objective. Also believe that if that is not done, the nation could be turned into dumping ground for the product from other African countries, a development that would be adverse to the nation's microeconomic objective. They are resolved to commend the President Muhammadu Bari for taking the step of placing Nigeria in the right place among our colleagues in the continent of Africa. Though the signing of African Coordinator Trade, through the signing of the African Coordinator Trade Agreement, two, urge the federal government to set machineries in motion to ensure that Nigeria optimize the expected benefits from the agreement. Three, Monday, the Committee on Special Duty and, com and Commerce went considered to ensure implementation, implementation. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Received. Those in support of the motion, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. The ayes have it. You know, if you follow the trend, you know, it, is, uh, it takes a lot of time before the, 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 the commander in chief agreed to sign with the other colleagues of Africa, even after the four, about 44 countries of Africa have signed it. But notwithstanding, Mr. Speaker, the most important thing that I, uh, it bugging my mind is about our preparation of this nation to go into this agreement. There are some things that we need to be careful about, otherwise this nation will turn to be a dumping ground for other African finished products because uh, this agreement is given a trade agreement all over, I mean, within African countries that free movement of ideas, free movement of the finished product within all uh, countries that agree on it. So that means from South Africa, product can be bring to the nation, from Nigeria, product can take it to any other African country. But by considering that Nigerian government should right now have a committee on ground discussing about the, our moribund uh, I mean, companies, discussing about Ajakuta, this, which you have started in the State Assembly, so that I mean, Nigeria also can have a lot of products to be put on the table of other African countries, so that our export will be more than the import into the nation. If we are not prepared for this, and we, are, we didn't take care of this, otherwise, 
Instead of this thing to be a blessing to us, it will turn to be another thing, God forbid. Mr. Speaker, creating a job for Nigerians can be achieved through this if we, we really uh, go through to the to it. I mean, if we really uh, pursue it and we have a set agenda for it and the government of the, uh, the nation is ready to implement according to whatever recommendation the committee set up recommended for them. I so submit, Mr. Speaker, for other colleagues to be in the contribution. Mr. Speaker, I want to uh, join my colleague in making a few contributions as it concerns the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement that has just been assented to, and Nigeria has appended her signature by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. Speaker, why, Mr. Speaker, why I see this motion very timely is that, yes, it's a good thing we commend the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the two steps he had taken before the signature of Nigeria on that document. Number one is having to put together an intelligence committee to be able to discuss the issues of Nigeria and how they can see Nigeria's benefit and where Nigeria can leverage on this agreement before Nigeria goes to append the signature. And it's akin to what Theresa May was probably doing uh, while negotiating with Brussels, as EU specifically, before Brexit. So, Mr. Speaker, there are very crucial things to be put in place by the Federal Republic of Nigeria if we are to take the benefit of the African common market that this agreement seeks to achieve for the African continent, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, if you permit me, sir, Mr. Speaker, sir, on a serious note, we are to put in place certain things that will make us achieve the competitive advantage which this agreement seeks to achieve. And that's why I support prayer two in totality of this motion. Number one, sir, it is the manufacturing sector of this country or any country that seeks to benefit from a free trade or a free market a common market created for a community or nations. And the question now today is, how are our manufacturers faring in this country? Great challenges, ranging from power sector to security and to issue of tariffs, sir. So I want to appeal that before we get the full benefit that will translate to the competitive advantage that we should take from this agreement, as we proceed to look at the 2000 and I mean 2020 budget, then we must put in place serious funding to take off infrastructure so that one, our manufacturers, our manufacturers can produce their goods at the lowest cost possible. Because if we don't do this, we are virtually going to be competing in a market at a very disadvantaged position. So I want to urge as we go forward, joining my colleague, that we urge the federal government to be able to put things in place, make sure pop adequate investment in infrastructure, ranging from power, and we will talk about uh, the long term, I believe that other issues will come about, issues of gas pricing, which is the main supply for uh, power stations, issues of our roads, issues of our railway system like we talked about last week. So I am advocating that we should put the infrastructure on ground, invest heavily on infrastructure development so that we can get the full benefit of this trade agreement for Nigeria and Nigerians. Those are my humble submissions, Mr. Speaker.